I think International Women's Day is important because it gives us an opportunity to celebrate the amazing achievements of women up and down the country and across the world. And I don't just mean the big things like winning a Pulitzer Prize or becoming first female vice president. I mean the small things too, those small acts of kindness and emotional intelligence and resilience that so many women practice every day because those things are important too. And one of the women that I'm thinking about today is my mother. So she moved to the UK from India as a young woman in the early 70s. She left her whole family behind. She didn't know anyone here. She didn't speak the language. And it took incredible mental strength for her to set up shop again, essentially, and to build a life for herself and for her children, and also to be successful particularly in her field of work, she gave a huge amount back to the community that she worked with as a teacher. And she taught me and my sister every single day the importance of speaking up, of acting with integrity, of sticking to our values, of being kind, of showing empathy, for showing understanding for other people and helping other people. And those lessons stick with me and my sister every single day. And that leads me to my next point, which is that women across the world, when it comes to the struggle for gender parity, face different obstacles. So that struggle with gender often intersects with race, with sexuality, with disability. And I think in order to achieve real change going forward, we must remember those differences every day, not just on International Women's Day, and act together to push for change.